What is your morning ritual? For me, my day is full of a lot of flow, pivoting, and flexibility. It's usually scheduled out and organized. Things need to be complete by the end of the day, which is no no later than 6 p.m. for me. So an early rise and a ritual really helps to set the tone and the mindset of my day. Oh, I go in and out of maybe some moods. That's kind of normal, pretty normal. Here's the thing, I'm taking you on my walk this morning. I usually get out 45 minutes to an hour after I wake up for a morning walk with my dog. He gets to go own some water, fetch his ball. I get to move around, be out in nature, and start to move into my day. There's usually a few people at the lake, so there's a lot of good mornings, but most of the time is spent in contemplation. Contemplation is, is a state of awareness, is a state of observing your interior and how it matches life, the mundane. For me, that type of reflection is really powerful. And why I say that is that I live alone, I have my dog, I have my circle and group of friends, I have my work, and I don't really peek into the mainstream. That pulls me way, way, way far off of my direction. A lot of drama, a lot of dis and misinformation. A lot of old programming that muddles up, muds up my, my flora. There's this saying, no mud, no lotus. I like to remind myself that it's my pond, my creation, my growth not hopping or leaping into other people's business, but really growing and flourishing and nurturing the circulation, the flow of my waters, my emotions, my thoughts. What's your ritual for the morning? I'd really be interested in learning and knowing more of other people's ritual. Once I get back from my walk with my beloved dog, then I have some breakfast, kind of late in between, you know, 11, 10, 11. Then I start getting to it, start directing my mental energy towards the rest of my day and see it happen and unfold in front of me. That's the directions, and then I go for it.